hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a to the power of 7 divided by a to the power of 4 is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of a so here we need to find all the roots of this equation so this is seventh order equation it means that this equation has seven roots so uh, this equation has seven or less or equals to seven roots so we need to find all the roots that exist okay so here the very first thing we are going to do is first you see that this is a to the power of 4 and we move this a to the power of 4 to the right hand side so when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 1 and it will becomes here a to the power of 7 is equals to a to the power of 4 because a to the power of 4 multiplied by 1 becomes a to the power of 4 and now here in the next step uh, we move a to the power of 4 from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes a to the power of 7 minus this is a to the power of 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need to rewrite this equation as this is a to the power of 7 we break it as a to the power of 4 plus 3 minus this is a to the power of 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 <clears throat> and now here in the next step uh, we need to use the nice uh, exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so according to this rule of exponents we need to break uh, this exponent and when we break this exponent it will be written as a to the power of 4 multiplied by a to the power of 3 minus this is a to the power of 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here from both of these two uh, terms we take common a to the power of 4 and we get the remaining values are a cubed minus 1 is equals to 0 <clears throat> and in the next step <clears throat> we need to break this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a to the power of 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we write a cubed minus 1 is equals to 0 so from first case you see here we have a to the power of 4 equals to 0 and this means that this equation has four roots uh, so if a to the power of 4 equals to 0 so here we write a is equals to four zeros okay so it means that this equation has four roots but these all four roots have repeated roots okay these are repeated and equal roots so it means that these are the four roots of the given equation and this is our cubic equation and it means that from here we get the remaining three roots so we rewrite this equation as this is a cubed minus one we write this one as one cubed and this whole equation is equals to zero and in the next step we use here the nice cubic formula you know about that if we have x cubed minus y cubed is equals to x minus y times of x square plus x y and plus y square so here we use this nice formula to this equation and you see here the base of this term is our x and the base of this term is our y and after using this formula to the above equation uh, our above equation is written as in this form so first you have this is x minus y the value of x is a minus the value of y is 1 into this is x square the value of x is a becomes a square plus x y the value of x is a and y is 1 plus y square and y is 1 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a minus 1 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write a square plus a plus 1 square becomes 1 is equals to 0 so from here we get the value of a is equals to 1 this is the uh, fifth root of the given equation because we have these are the four repeated roots and this is the fifth a distinct root from others okay 
so uh, these are the five roots from here and now we need to find a uh, remaining two roots so that we get remaining two roots from this equation uh, so that we um, this is the quadratic equation and here we use the quadratic formula to solve this equation so for this we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital a is equals to one capital b is equals to one and capital c is also equals to one and we state the quadratic formula as a is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus four times of ac divided by two times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now here uh, we need to substitute uh, the values of a b and c here so when you put these values it will becomes the value of b is 1 when in, when we put it here it will becomes minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 1 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 so further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, so we have this is a is equals to we have minus 1 plus minus square root of this is 1 square and 1 square becomes 1 minus 4 times of 1 is equals to 4 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as a is equals to this is minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4 becomes minus 3 divided by 2 so here after a little bit simplifications uh, we will uh, get the other roots are minus 1 plus minus here uh, you know that when negative sign appears inside the square root sign it will becomes iota so we get here this is square root of 3 times of iota and it is divided by 2 so these are the final two complex roots of the given equation and finally we have the seven roots of the given equation are so in seven roots we have the first four roots are zero and these are equal roots and uh, one be the real root so in which these four roots are the uh, equal or repeated roots and one is distinct root so these five roots are real roots and uh, the remaining these two roots are complex roots so these are total seven roots of the given equation okay and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.